Hello. Uh, so we just looked at the emitter biasing configuration, and uh, first we looked at um, a standard emitter biasing configuration uh, where we had the base tied to VCC through a base resistor, and we saw that uh, right here. I should point that out here. Uh, it yields to a fairly unstable Q point from the point of view of beta variations. And then we made a slight modification where we lowered our um, base supply voltage to 2 volts, so lower than VCC. And we got a slight improvement, at least we don't go into saturation, but again, uh, still uh, quite a lot of variation, especially with respect to the VCE uh, voltage from the nominal case where beta was 100, and we got 0.16 volts, uh, to the case where beta was 300 and we got 0.49 volts. So we're going to make another modification to this emitter biasing configuration and see if we can improve those results. And the modification we're going to do is we're going to um, increase the voltage drop across the emitter resistor. So in these previous cases, we had set that voltage drop to 0.5 volts. And we're doing that right here. And we're going to increase that. We're going to double it and set it to 1 volt and see if we get um, an improvement. So I'm going to redraw um, that emitter biasing network. We're going to keep our, our VB to 2 volts, VVB, excuse me, to 2 volts. And that's just because we saw that gave us better results. VCC was equal to 10 volts. RC, RB, RE. All right. Beta nominal is 100. Beta range is 100 to 300. Nominal Q point is 1 milliamp and 4.5 volts. All right, um, let's redo some of the calculations because we don't have them uh, in sight right now. But So IC is equal to beta times IB, therefore the value of my IB needs to be IC over beta or 1 milli over 110 microamps. We still want to center the voltage at the collector. So uh, choose RC to center VC, VC equals 5 volts. Center with respect to uh, the two supplies, in this case VCC and uh, the supply that's connected to the emitter terminal, which in this case is ground. So that gives us 5 volts. RC by Ohm's law was equal to VCC minus VC divided by IC, or 10 minus 5. divided by 1 milliamp, which is 5 kilo ohms, just like before, nothing's changed. But now, instead of wanting um, the voltage drop across RE to be 0.5 volts, we want it to be 1 volt. So choose RE to set VE equal to 1 volt, double as before. And so VE... Um, or RE by Ohm's law is going to be equal to VE over IE. We're going to make the approximation that the emitter current is approximately equal to the collector current. So that's approximately equal to VE over IC, or 1 volt over 1 milliamp. So 1 kilo ohm, twice as much as before, which will make sense. And then uh, my base resistor. It's going to be the same as in the previous case where we had the base supply set to 2 volts, but let's redo it. Uh, choose RB to set IB equals to 10 microamps. By Ohm's law, RB is equal to uh, VBB minus VB divided by IB. And once again, notice that VB needs to be 
is the voltage at this point, and so it's going to be the sum of the base emitter voltage, VVE, plus uh, the emitter voltage. So, VVE plus VVE, or 0.7 plus 1. So in this case, RB will be 2 minus 1.7 volts. Or I guess if I don't write the unit on the one, I don't write the unit on the other, divided by 10 micro. That gives me 30 kilo ohms. So I can put my values for this configuration. RC is 5 kilo ohms, RE is 1 kilo ohm, RB is... Uh, 30 kilo ohms. And when I run the simulations, the results obtained for beta equals 100, were as follows. Uh, IC was equal to 1.06 milliamps. Uh, VCE was 3.78 volts. And beta equals 300. I C is equal to 1.21 milliamps. B C was 2.71 volts. And so you can see, um, in this case, uh, for the standard value of beta equals 100, our B C E is not as accurate, uh, we could say. But notice that we've sacrificed accuracy for stability. Uh, in that for between the two cases, beta equals 100 and 300, we have now the smallest variation uh, between our IC and VCE values, our Q point values. And so that's typically what we want. When we are setting the Q point, we don't care so much about accuracy. Um, we, again, remember the Q point we're just trying when we're rising, just trying to set the transistor into a particular region of operation. Now we do care about being centered, uh, because it will uh, increase our, our signal swing, among other things. But uh, once we have found an, um, a configuration that is stable, meaning that it's not going to suffer from variations due to changes in beta, uh, we can now use our simulator or, you know, or just go adjusting manually, even though that's going to take longer, but we can use our simulations as well uh, to try to adjust our values and get them more centered. Um, with the peace of mind that, you know, they're not going to vary widely when we place a transistor with a different beta value um, in place.